nah. I didn't make an intro to this video, so this is the intro. This is my Instagram, my Twitter and shit. There's nothing really interesting there. I know with all that funny YouTube shit. You know what to do. I feel like everybody's like, like share, subscribe, but just watch YouTube's the video. old enough that like, you should know. You know, like I've never actually liked anymore. the video when somebody told me to like the video. Like the video, hit smash, I've never once done it. If you, yeah, if you told me to smash that motherfucker, like, like, by the way, just hit 750,000. Yo, facts And Congrats. not once did I ever say smash the subscribe button. Not once. Have you have you seen me do that? Nah, I guess I'll have to go back and do the research. First one. Been in college three days, hooked up with a girl two days ago, I guess. Now everybody thinking we're supposed to be together and shit. And I'm low-key worried it's gonna make other girls stay away from me because this girl's popular and friends with like everyone. What I do. Other girls are not gonna stay away because of that. Especially if you do really well with the popular girl, she's popular. So if you really type it, you know, if you do what you have to do. <laughs> nah, I don't like the phrase of that. Why are you being so weird about it? But yeah, just if you make her nut, then try your test. Yeah, make her nut. If you make her nut, she's gonna tell everybody because she's the popular girl. Girls are sneaky. But at the end of the day, if you pull up on these girls, they're gonna want to fuck you anyway. You think that like you girls find you more attractive if you have? Like, yeah, everybody wants what they can't have. Yeah. And if you're having the popular girl, that's what he says. Yeah, you yeah. mean like the most unattainable thing. You're already ele elevated. Yeah, you're already ahead of these bitches. You can pee on them golden showers. <laughs> you're into that. <laughs> I don't know. What Even if you're not, just assert your dominance. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah. What's your best pickup line for bad bitches on the LI Highway? I don't ever like talk to girls on the train. Like I'll just like make eye contact three times and like hope to lock eyes. And then once we lock eyes, I like, immediately look away. And then you rub one out under your pants. And then just imagine her later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go to the train bathroom, just spank it. Bathroom, just spank it. Bathroom, just spank it. Yeah, like that was enough. <laughs> that's, like, that's all I need. <laughs> she looked at you. All right, that's enough. But on the lure specifically. Like, after we get off the lair and we're waiting at the station, if I see her alone on her phone, I know she's calling an Uber. So I'll make, like, stupid jokes about Uber. Where's the driver at? Ha ah, mine's name is Mohammed, some shit like that. Why well, is, is that a joke? He might blow us <laughs> up. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I open. That's my opening line every time. Girls in public places like that don't want to be hit on. I feel like if I was a girl and I was just in the LRR, I'd just be fearing for my life. That's yeah. why I do the Uber approach. He was like, oh, I'm the safe, weird dude, like, cracking jokes about Muhammad. Yeah, no pickup line. I don't I don't actually try to do anything from that. Maybe just like, say hi, I'm not here to kidnap you. <laughs> I would run away if you said that. <laughs> I'm not going to sex traffic you, I promise. You ever heard of Epstein? No, I haven't either. <laughs> I have no idea who I've seen is. Yeah. Nice to meet you, I'm Patrick. <laughs> and this is my beautiful <laughs> assistant. <laughs> uh, they're just fucking lower class I've seen. Listen, how'd you ham or how'd you guys handle a girl that you smashed that you work with? She's a nice girl, but I don't want anything else and she's now obsessed with me. How do I break this off without making you weird as fuck at work? You kinda trap yourself there. They don't shit what you eat. That's what they say, right? It depends where he works too. If it's like a pizza parlor, right like fuck off and pepperonis or something. But if it's like McDonald's, lunch. you're gonna be bumping into her all the time. Like you can't avoid each other. You're constantly on the headset, mm -hmm. making fries. <laughs> yeah, you fucked yourself. And you gotta do it the most casual way possible. Or just start fucking her at work. Who cares? <laughs> Let her fall in love. What does that have to do with you? It'll make work pretty interesting. Whenever you're outside of work, just don't answer, bro. Just stop answering. And just be nice in person. Then eventually she'll get the hint. But she's crazy. Wait, did, did, is she crazy? What else did he say about her? She said she's obsessed with him, but again, it has nothing to do with him. What you mean? As long as he's not saying I love you back or like trying to make this girl think that he's gonna get in a relationship with her. Yeah, but she's always gonna have the hope because they work together. They see each other constantly like, every single day. Sounds like a her problem. So just let her slowly get the yeah. It's gonna be awkward at work. But it's not though. An awkward situation only arises if two people are feeling it. If you don't feel it, then it's only awkward for her. It's not awkward for you. Mm. Just act the way you'd act. That's good advice. Be yourself. That's always the advice at the end of the day is be yourself for everything and anything. Yeah, so that's all that's cliche, always bro. gonna be the motivation. What if I suck? What if I'm trash? Like, what if you're just a, tr a shit person? Please don't be yourself then, be a better person. Nah, still be yourself and just suffer the consequences and try to work on it. So try to change. So yeah, don't be a better, don't be a shit person all the time. Who you are isn't like fixed. You're not who you are throughout your whole life, you change. You were saying some foul shit in Xbox parties in middle school and you don't say that shit anymore. I still kind of do say that stuff. So I didn't change. To be fair, bro, I don't even feel like reading any more of these. This guy said he knows you. This guy, he gave me these rings in Berlin 
Uh, he came out to the comedy show and he had like a box of rings and he let me pick them. Yeah, shout out to that dude. Shout Two out Kimo. Cool guy. You a watcher? A watcher? Like he watches my videos, yeah. We didn't want to watch you guys fuck? Nah, I didn't. That didn't come up. But I would have let him if he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Kimo, you're fishing. part of the gang. You can watch us have sex. Can't be part of the gang unless you watch us fuck. He said, would you say flirting with another girl is cheating? Even if she decides to send nudes? Nah. Nah. Realistically, I think everybody flirts. Especially in other cultures. Like, I think in American culture and suburban culture, it's less common to flirt. Like, people aren't that social. Especially people that like uh, yeah. ask questions like this. People are barely closed in. So they think like small things like being nice is flirting when it's not. That's even when we were talking about like how Brazilian too touchy. Yeah. Like, a lot of times it's not a flirty thing. It's just interacting. Yeah, I feel like it makes people trust you more. The first time you touch, it's like a big moment. Think right. about like if you're talking to a girl in a club or something. Yeah. The initial contact you make with her is very important. If you just go and like grab her lower back ready, she's gonna be like, what the fuck is this guy touching me for? Yeah. But if you're laughing and you like kind of sprawl on her, if you like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like here. No, the lower back, if it works, it works. But that, like, but yeah, if it doesn't work, it's bad. Yeah. yeah, it's very like up in the air. But it depends, because if it's really loud, then that, that could be your way to like get closer, because you have to talk like real close mm -hmm. with the club. I usually just go around the neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing, love, mama? Let me whisper. I just go straight up with the washcloth and chloroform. That's my first move in the club. You know chloroform is like a popular drug in Brazil? Nah. Like for partying? It's called all up. You like make it, and then you put it in a can, and then people pretend they're drinking Red Bulls or something, but they'll just be like inhaling it, and then you just kind of won't, won't for a little bit. <laughs> Wait, is it like uh, like, it's like gas? Yeah, it's like whippets. Yeah, kind of like whippets. Same feeling? Nah. It's Have like, you tried it? But I'm in Brazil. Though. Gotta go to Brazil. I think that's a good way to end off the video. We just didn't even help them at all. Yeah, I guess. These are the mediocre questions. Like, they know the answer to these questions. Yeah, I hope so. We must know. Deep down, the yeah, answer is yeah. be yourself.